Hey everybody, Brian again from PNB Homesteading. Thought I'd do one update for the underside of the house. I haven't been doing uh, too many updates lately, but I wanted to give you an update for the salad greens, the kale, and then the uh, large tent and how I'm starting to expand it out. But uh, first I wanted to show you this uh, Rolado light that I got. This is that one that I told you I was getting for uh, half price from the company for buying the other lights that I bought to do a test on it. So, do a little unboxing here. And I got gloves on just because I was doing a bunch of planting with dirt, so I guess I can take those off. Some people actually watch these videos on unboxing, but you know, this is for grow light, so I don't know if anybody really cares. <laughs> this one has a little bit of a pink tint to it. It's supposed to be a red spectrum. So it's not as red as a lot of the LEDs like I've got on my other small ones, or like we have in the uh, mid-sized tent. But uh, still pretty bright. I don't want to look directly into it because I don't have my goggles on. But I'll, uh, I'll shine it to the camera and let you guys take a look. I mean, it's definitely bright. You can see the contrast there. So that's that. I'll be hanging that inside the, uh, the big tent. Now let me grab the camera and I'll show you what's been growing and going here on the uh, underside of the house now that we're in the fall. So up here you can see the uh, this is the lettuce greens. This here are the uh, pepper seeds from that plant there so what I'm gonna do this year for the large tent is each one of these has two seeds in it I'll take the strongest ones in the cells and then I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna grow those out to be the same size as the one inside the tent there you can see it's got a lot of new growth coming on it and I'm getting quite a few peppers I usually get about three a week on that plant and the idea is, is I want to expand it out to be the whole inside of the tent in there with peppers so that way we're gonna have fresh grown peppers for salads that are coming out of this tent. So that way I'm actually getting two different yields to go with my salads. I'm gonna have my peppers as well as the, uh, the salad greens that I grow all winter. And you can see they're doing really well. This one here we're gonna harvest off this week, coming up. And then we got this one down here. It's gonna be harvested the next week. And then these are the trays that I seeded uh, two weeks ago. And then this is a seeded tray that I did just last this I think it was just after the weekend last week. So uh, that one there, as well as that one down there, were seated at the same time. Then I did that one kind of in between, so it's an in-between stage one. So we'll have some nice greens coming in to our, uh, our evening meals and for our Taco Tuesday. And then we'll have the peppers, you know, start to come online. They should be, you know, sprouted and then growing up early in the spring. So then what I plan on doing also is taking these same peppers, they're gonna go back outside in pots like this and I'll just keep them growing I think year round and I'm just gonna take them out and put them in the yard and they'll get their summer sun they'll grow peppers for us all through summer and then I'll bring them back inside the tent in the winter because there's a lot of people that do overwinter their peppers and so I figure you know what the heck might as well try it myself and uh, it's a lower maintenance type crop and I don't have to worry about uh, picking it unless I want to eat it so that'll be good and then here's the kale uh, being in these trays Normally I start the trays inside the big tent, which has a lot better airflow, I think, and it doesn't get the soil as moist. So I'm noticing that uh, I'm not having a lot of germination in the center sections. I am, you know what I mean, I'm getting it there. So I don't know if it's just late or if it's just, you know, because the edges are drier, but you can see I get a lot better germination around the edges and then as it gets, you know, wetter. But I mean, who knows? It could be just the seed. I mean, the seed is two years old that I'm using, so I don't know. And it does look a little wet and a little yellowed on some of these here. So I'm trying to cut back on the watering on these. So you'll notice this one here is a little drier than this one over here. So I'm doing a little experiment to see if I dry it out, it'll actually help germinate more of the seed or if I'm gonna get more germination over here in the wetter one. Because I don't wanna drown these guys, but I do wanna get them start producing because this is our winter kale that we'll be using over the winter. 
And if it doesn't turn out to be that it grows that well inside this setup that I've got here, I'll just take one of these trays and I'll put it inside the tent because you know you saw you guys saw last year how the uh, the kale did really well inside that tent because I had the the white, red, white and red Russian, and I had two trays of the vates, so uh, it did pretty well for me. But that's kind of the update. Oh, and I did transplant. You guys got to look at this guy. You know, here's here's the poinsettia. This is the the tree poinsettia. You know, it's all fully grown back in and it's getting ready for uh, you know I'm getting it ready for Christmas. And for Thanksgiving coming up next month, I'll bring it upstairs so that way uh, when we have our family gathering, they can see the progress of it. But this is that one I did a cutting of this last uh, spring. Or no, was it summer? I don't, it was either summer or spring that I broke off one of these tips off of this thing and I stuck it in some potting soil with some rooting hormone. And so this is the uh, other poinsettia that I've got growing now. And it looks to be doing pretty well. I just uh, up-potted it today along with the... Uh, the pepper plant that I had growing out of this little uh, house plant. So I'm going to let this thing grow. You can see it's got a lot of nice flowers on it. So we should be getting peppers on this thing and, you know, not too long, you know, maybe another month we should have some peppers growing on that guy. Since it's got flower heads on it already, we should be able to maybe have some uh, Christmas peppers. And I have no idea what that is because it came out of the compost that we throw into our worm bin. And that's where a lot of these pop-up peppers and tomatoes come from in our yards in the spring is uh, from that worm compost because the seeds don't uh, break down along with the worms. All right, well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. I'll talk to you again. Bye.